We're on, man. Rolling. All right. Now, there's uh, two possible ways you can cover up your root. There's the fill pass and the cover pass that goes on top of that. And the horizontal position, because, well, if we tried to do a weave in the horizontal position, we'd undercut the hell out of the top plate and all the metal would just flow into the bottom plate and be a big old mess. So whenever you're doing this in the horizontal position, you're definitely just going to want to run some stringers here. Just grab all these electrodes for demonstration purposes. And essentially, we're going to work with gravity here, so to speak, and start at the bottom just like this and work to the top. And then we'll, that'll be our fill, and then we'll have to cover it. So we'll start back at the bottom. There, it'll probably take five passes. One, two, three, four, and five, just like that. Now, if you're working flat, you can, you can weave flat. Some people frown upon it. That's what I've always done. It's always worked pretty well for me. But if you're going flat, vertical, or overhead, you can do what's known as a weave, a Z-weave. I made, I made a video on this. I don't really want to go into it too much in this video, just in the interest of keeping things short. But that's essentially where you just start, do side to side to side to side. And you just, you know, you fill in your groove that way. So, uh, essentially, we're just going to go through here laying some nice stringers with this fine, best you can buy, Lincoln Excalibur 7018. Yeehaw, let's do it. your machine set right when the slag just falls off. It doesn't have to necessarily curl up like say 6013 does or 7024, but as long as you don't have to sit there and just pound the living daylights out of it, you know, you're set. <laughs> you're set really well. Guys, another thing you want to make sure when you're running these, especially in the horizontal position, weld with both eyes, one eye on the puddle and one eye on where you're going. Otherwise, you're going to just keep going all over the place. Because <laughs> what you want to do is try and split that bead and cover the, the previous bead with half of the new bead. And just keep on stacking them like that. See, you can see the old bead underneath there. Definitely. It's just covered up. About a 50% overlap is ideal, exactly what we're about to see here. So, I think one more pass and it should be good to go. We'll be good, all right. Oh man, that, this Lincoln stuff runs so smooth, it's amazing. So, I do believe, and yeah, watch, this is just going to fall, fall off of here. Generally too guys, the hotter your plate will get, the, you know, the better it's going to fall off. Definitely. He's your friend in many situations. So, that being said, get that last little bit. I do believe that this plate, that looks pretty good to me. That's a wonderful cover fill pass thing that you know, Wes and I both worked on. And there's my original root. Wes has turned out really well. And uh, you know, this is ready to go into any bend test you can put it in. And that'll hold for sure. So anyway, you guys, this has been, this is the official conclusion of my open root how to weld thing. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a really good night. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and please visit Wes's channel. Wes has been awesome. He's put us up in this uh, nice, warm, heated shop. Really good host and really good welder, too. He's got several videos now. Channel's really growing. And uh, with that being said, have a nice night, everybody. Yeehaw.